Hey guys, welcome to Dallas Jamming. My name is Jade Wee. If this is your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for videos about Eurorack, synthesizers, music, you name it. So in this video, the long requested, the highly anticipated Eurorack breakdown. Yes, this is my Intelligel 7U 84HP case. Um, I've had this for a few months now and I absolutely love this case. I had a few cases before this, but this case, look at this. What other case can you do that with? This case is super lightweight. I absolutely love this case. They did not send me this. I paid for this myself. And this has two angles, which is pretty awesome. Like that. You can set it up like that higher or lower. It's just an amazing case. I can only say good things about it. Um, it does have these things in the back as you have seen it. This is probably one of the most popular features, but it only works if you have these modules. I'm gonna get a little bit into that in this video. I guess that is one of the bad things about the case. But besides that, it's a pretty awesome case. Um, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down my modules, what each module does, why I've chosen these modules, why they stayed. A lot of modules have come and go, and this is pretty much how it is. Um, I have two modules that are coming, so a few things are getting replaced. I'll talk more about that in the video. So let's get right to it. Let's see what is in this baby. Alright guys, so how I like to explain my system is the following way. My voices are the heart, my sequencer is the brain, and everything else surrounding it is the organs pretty much. So something I want to touch base on right off the bat is using drum voices as synth voices. If you think about building a modular synth voice from scratch, you would need an oscillator, an envelope, a VCA, a filter, and you're already talking about over a thousand dollars and probably this whole row up here. But this is a whole synth voice. This is a whole synth voice. That's why I love using drum modules as synth voices. These specific drum modules have pitch. That's why they can be used as synth voices and decay, which makes a big difference when making music. So yeah, so drums as synth voices. Rings also is kind of like a drum module in the way that it has a gate, but it's not a drum module at all but they did add this strum, which is the gate, which pretty much makes it its own voice. You don't need anything else with it. So yeah, so I'm gonna start off with rings and then we're gonna look at the rest of the voices. We're gonna look at this whole system. I'm gonna explain it to you guys, how I use everything. So let's get right to it. So this is probably my favorite module in existence. I just love how it sounds. Um, this case's name is Kyoto, by the way. She's a crazy aging plucking machine, and you're about to find out why. So, I'm using this as my mixer. You see I have the system interface here, but I'm getting a bit of noise from this um, module with this case. Sometimes digital modules can be noisy, and I am having that issue, so I'm probably not going to have this in my case very long, because I just can't use it. It gives me a high-pitched noise. But this module right here is called the Quadrant, and it's a 1U module, as you can see, and it's pretty much a 4-channel mixer, which is insane because that's just going to save me so much room here, and I absolutely love this little guy. So we're going to do audio out of rings, and in rings we have two audio outs. Um, one of them gives us like a panning, and the other one is just regular. So this is my sequencer. You guys might have seen this video. I'll link it up somewhere. I've made an in-depth video on this module before. Um, how it works is it can either be four CVs, CV gate, CV gate, which is a whole sequencer on its own, or four gates. We're going to use it as CV gate, CV gate as its own sequencer right now. This is all we need. So I'm going to do the strum, which is my gate, and I'm going to send it into the gate. Then I'm going to send my pitch into one. I'm going to press play. I already have something going on there. Let's go ahead and clear this so you guys see how this works. So if I hold track, now it's blinking. Now if I press it, press whatever button, they're all deleted. All right, so get out of this mode, go back to my notes. Um, let's go back to and set our, our gates, our tricks. So if I move these all the way to the right, all my gates are on. If I have them like somewhere in the middle, they'll trigger like by chance, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's turn a couple of these on. And then I'm gonna go back to note. So the cool thing about this module is that it has scales. So right now, if I mess with my notes, it's just random. 
if I go back to track and go to scale, I have a few skills to choose from, eight skills to choose from. So the first one is unquantized. If you want to know the actual skills that are on here, you can find them online. I don't know them by heart. I just do whichever one sounds good. All right. So now we have a sequence going. Boom. That simple. That easy. Now let's say we want to add some modulation. I'm going to send modulation. What modulation is, it's pretty much me doing this without my hand. So I need something to send that signal. So I'm going to need a larger cable. Hold on, longer cable. So I'm going to send some CV into, let's say, our damping. And now, and I can set the amount with this little knob right here. You can send more modulation. You want to not get crazy, like let's say for example if I were to send it to the frequency, that's going to mess up my whole sequence because it's messing with the pitch. So let's avoid that. Something else. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so yes, this is this combo. I've had this combo for a really long time. It's my go-to sequencer. I am ready for something different though, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm getting rid of this, but I do have marbles and stages on the way. Um, I actually got them at this website I found, which was crazy cheap. Um, if you're in America, they take 20% off like once you make an account because of the VAT. So I'm going to put the link below because I got these modules like crazy cheap, I couldn't believe it. Um, I paid with PayPal, everything went legitly through, so definitely check that out, I'll put the link in the description. Thought I would share that with you guys because I know modules are expensive. All right, so let's check out this other voice. This is Basimilus. Let's just switch everything over. So my gate is going to go into the trig, and then my pitch is gonna go into the pitch. And this is a drum voice, basically. This is the most drummy out of all of them. Like, straight noise. That's beautiful. Then you have like different types of engines, I guess. Metal, liquid, and skin. I like skin. Um, octaves. And then besides that, you also have your pitch knob. And then your decay. Synth voice. Boom. All right, same thing. We can send some modulation to it. Sending modulation to the engines is very awesome, so. Pretty cool. All right, let's check out plats. So I have a love-hate relationship with plats. I'm not sure if it's gonna stay in my case. Every time I plug it in, I change my mind. <laughs> um, but. Eh, I'm just not feeling it. I want to love everything mutable. I just feel like I'm clicking through presets with this thing every time I use it. It sounds good. It sounds good. I'm not gonna completely hate on it, but sometimes when I have other stuff going on and I try to add this, um, I have a very hard time finding something that fits in. Like, that's pretty cool. Alright, so... I know I just talked about presets. And that's probably why a lot of people don't like Plonk, but Plonk is my baby. 
I love Plonk. This is one of my favorite modules. Between these two, honestly, I can't decide which one I love more. Um, this thing just, even though you have a little bit of menu diving, some of the sounds you can get out of this thing are just amazing. I never feel like I'm menu diving with this thing. And then I make a sound, I can save it, and it's just such a wide palette of sounds. I absolutely love this thing. Alright, so now that we have Plonk on here, um, there's something crazy that Plonk can do. Um, I might make a separate video for it, but pretty much you can make a whole drum kit with Plonk and Voltage Block. I've done it before in a few music videos, but I'm going to probably make a separate video on using these two together. Let me know if you want to see that in the comments below. Now let's check out the Saber. The Saber is the only filter, and as you may have noticed, I don't have any VCAs. I know some people might think I'm crazy, but hey, I'm still alive. It's working out for me. So I'm going to go from plonk into my low pass. The Saber has low pass, band pass, and high pass. And then, oops, I'm sorry. Out of plonk into my in. My bad. And then the low pass out into my mixer. Probably not the best example. Let's see. There we go. Beautiful Sam replica. This little saber right here. Only 8 HP, by the way. And then it also has a CV input. So let's say we're going to send some modulation to the filter cutoff. And then you can set the CV amount. Pretty awesome little filter. Alright, so the next module is this Expert Sleepers Distinct 4. To be honest with you guys, I just can't gel with this module. This probably isn't going to be in here very long either. It's a super deep module. It has like, what, 90 functions? It can be like a sampler, a reverb, um, an LFO. It's just an insane module, but it's just too menu die before me. Uh, you have to remember a lot of the stuff. You have to have like a little sheet with you to remember what everything is. And I'm just not about it. But if you're looking for a super useful module and you're willing to do the menu diving and the manual reading, <laughs> definitely check this module out. So the next module I'm going to talk about is my black MIDI. <laughs> why, is, why is it called black MIDI to CV? That's not what it's called. It's called MIDI to CV. Erica Sins MIDI to CV version 2. So I made also a separate video on this module. I'll link it somewhere as well, like a more in-depth video, but technically it's a two-channel CV converter. So I can send, for example, um, let's say DigiTac out, out of here, and then I can sequence two voices with it. It's a pretty useful module. Right now I don't have like a designated sequencer, um, but I like to use it as a clock source, clock a regular synth with it or a drum machine, have my modular in sync with everything else, so I just like to keep it in here. IntelliGel also sells a 1U MIDI module, and I mean, I think it's like as big as this or maybe even bigger than the Steppy, but eh, I mean, it's like what, 150 bucks, maybe more? And what do you get, like one voice? I mean, it's, no, I'm not gonna do that. And also, like, a lot of people have asked um, this case. A lot of people like this case because of all the stuff in the back. To be honest with you, I don't use none of this stuff in the back. And the reason is because even though the stuff is there, like the outputs and inputs are there, you can't use them unless you have the modules for it. And it just doesn't make sense to me to spend not only the money, but to fill this space up with things that I could easily do with, for example, the quadrant. I can just go out of the quadrant into my mixer, um, but instead of going back here and using these, buying another module just to use them. Same thing with the MIDI, like yeah, the MIDI outputs are there, but you can't use them unless you have the module, which kind of sucks. But regardless, I love this case. Um, I've had two other cases, and this case is just super light. Um, if you have nothing in it, you can literally lift it up with a pinky like that. It's super lightweight, 
It's super thin. I love that it can stand up like I showed you guys. You get the lid with it. You can even close it like patched in just like that. So yeah, definitely recommend this case. It's a super slick case. I absolutely love this case. So, and the one U modules are super useful. Like I said, you guys are seeing that this is my mixer. <laughs> like that's, isn't that crazy? Like that's awesome. You get a mixer up here. Um, the one U uh, Steppy is pretty much a gate sequencer. It's four gates. It's the same thing as if this were down here, four gates. This is bit like way more hands-on because you do have the sliders. I've had this for months, probably over a year, this uh, combo right here. So I'm very familiar with it. I'm very comfortable with it. I just got this like a month ago, to be honest with you guys. I haven't messed with it much. Um, but you can do like ratcheting. You can do mutes. It looks very deep and very cool. So I'm going to dig more into it. So let's keep on going. So we talked about this life form, how it was noisy with the system. Yes, that sucks. But hopefully you don't have that issue with your system or if you decide to get one because it really is a super useful module. It's like a very in-depth mixer for Eurorack. So you get six inputs. You get panning for the first three inputs. Um, you have aux send for the first three inputs as well, and aux control. So what aux send is, is pretty much, let's say, I want to send my clouds into here. Then I can use clouds. I can choose how much, if I want it all the way on or if I want it off. So I can have clouds on this, clouds on this, clouds on all my voices, and I can set the amount. It also has a bus, which is kind of like an aux, but it's only with switch on and, on and off. So like effect on effect off, which is pretty cool. I really do like this system interface. It sucks that it's giving me a noise issue, but it's just not playing friendly with my case and I love my case too much, so it's gotta go. Um, it also has mutes for each channel. I lied, for the first three channels it has mutes, it has a headphone output and a stereo out. So yeah, it's a pretty useful module, master control, master volume knob, pretty sweet module, definitely check it out. The next module we're going to look at is the phaser. I don't use this thing enough. Um, if something leaves, it's probably going to be this. But I hate saying that because every time I plug it in, I change my mind because I really love this thing, even though I don't use it as much. So let's check it out. Um, first, let's check it out as a phaser. So we're going to go out, in, and we're going to need a bigger, longer cable. Out, in. That's all the way off. We can also send CV to it. Right? Apart from being a phaser, it is also an LFO. So now let's check out the... Let's unplug some stuff. The Wave Folder by Delta, another little Delta module. Um, I like these modules, they're super small. 8 HP, doesn't fill up much space, and they're pretty cool. So we're going to go audio out. This is like an audio manipulator. It's a wave folder. I believe it's inspired by a Buchla module. All right, so out of the wave folder to here. And then right now it's off. Gives it like a nice crunch. Very nice on drums. All right, in the most underrated module in existence, this echo delay. I absolutely love this delay. I'm about to show you why. 
It's a beautiful delay, only 8 HP. I've had this... I've had this forever since I first got my modular. This has been in every single case that I've used. This module is amazing. Let's change up our sequence a bit. Okay, so listen to it dry. Ready? Beautiful. I really wish this CV controlled my feed instead of the time because, let's say, things just get a little too wild because it controls the pitch. That's my only complaint about it. Seriously, super cheap module, super beautiful sounding um, delay. I've had the chrono blob. I feel like everybody loves the chrono blob because it just looks pretty. If it looked uglier, people wouldn't be that much into it. Some people absolutely love it. Um, I think it feeds, like the feedback on it just peaks way too high. Like every time I used it, I would get feedback and this is way cheaper than the chrono blob. In my opinion, it sounds way more beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful module, I love it. It's my favorite effects module in here, I'm not gonna lie. All right, oh wait, maybe I'll take that back. Clouds. To call this a simple reverb is an insult. Um, clouds is amazing. Every Eurorack system should have a clouds. And of course, let's be, let's be a typical hipster and do what everybody hates, but everybody loves. Out of rings into clouds. This is kind of like our mix. And then we can freeze our state. Send some modulation to it. We could even send a trick to it. Let's go ahead and listen to some of Ring's other modes. This is my least favorite mode, the green. It just sounds like bells. A little too belly for me. This is probably my favorite mode. Or this. A 
Another cool thing I didn't talk about is the very good 4 plus and voltage block combo. So like I said, 4 CVs, uh, whole sequencer or 4 gates. Let's say for example we want to use it as 4 gates. So now these are all gates. You can tell because they all have the probability, which is like my gate on, gate off. I'm going to send CV into rings. So what I like about this, using this for sequences, for pitch control, is that you can hear the note as you're setting it. With the variegate 4, you're kind of guessing using the scales. So like, let's say I don't want to think in a scale. I just want to put the notes in that I want to make music with. So this changes my pitch. If I press, if I hold it, I can hear. So I can set them. And then it also, right now I'm actually on a scale mode. It has all these scales. That's unquantized. And then I also have the same forward, reverse, pendulum, random. If I go forward, I also have my step length. Pretty cool. And that's it guys, that is pretty much my Eurorack case. This is Kyoto. I told you that I have new modules coming in, the marbles and the stages, so I'm not sure what is gonna leave um, this stuff up here. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna keep plats. I'm gonna really have to think about this um, because I'm excited to get those new modules in here. I've had this set up for a really long time and I'm ready for some change and I'm not going to add another case. You guys already know that. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're thinking about getting into your rack and you have the funds to do so, it is a lot of fun. Um, there aren't many modules that excite me anymore. I feel like at the beginning you're like, oh my god, there's just so many modules. I want them all. If I get into modular, I'm going to end up with like a room full of sins. And you guys know that I did slim down. I used to have three cases. But I only used these same modules all the time. Like I said, I've had this for over a year. I've had rings and plong forever. And they're just like my go-to modules. So if you're thinking about getting into your rack, get a small case. Um, this case is really awesome. Like I said, this 1U is super helpful and uh, saves a lot of space for other things. You know, don't be afraid of modular. It's super fun. It's kind of like meditation. It's super relaxing. If you can afford it, definitely jump into it. Um, also, build it slowly. Don't think like you have to fill your whole case right from the get-go, you know? That's another thing that people think like, oh, I'm gonna buy this and I need to fill it up now. No, just take it slowly. Buy like a, buy a sequencer, buy one synth voice, and just go from there. See if you like it, see if it's something that you're into, and definitely buy used modules because a lot of people buy modules brand new, use them for like a month or two, and sell them, and they don't really lose much value. So definitely buy used. I probably bought all my stuff used, to be honest with you. This case I bought used, everything. Um, it's the way to go if you're trying to save money. So yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it that thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. I hope you guys are enjoying my jams. I'm on a very, like, musical phase right now. <laughs> uh, super inspired to just make music and create. So yeah, that's it, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.